Man's nature is really inclined to evil, and that is echoed in our catechism. By the way, we always refer to the catechism because it contains the official teachings of the Catholic Church. Let's open our catechism to paragraph 407. The second sentence. By our first parents' sin, the sin of our first parents, the devil has acquired what? A certain domination over man. The devil has controlled us. Even though man remains free, we are under the control of the devil by our first parents' sin. Original sin entails captivity under the power of him who thenceforth had the power of death, that is the devil. Man has a wounded nature inclined to evil. Does the Bible say that also? Of course. Open your Bible to 1 John chapter 5, verse 19. I don't think that's in your notes, so note it down. 1 John chapter 5, verse 19. It says, We know that we belong to God. We are all children of God. We know that. And the whole world is under the power of the evil one. You know that? The whole world is under the power of the evil one. You need help. The whole world is under the dominion of the enemy. So we do direly need help. We need deliverance from our fallen tendencies. We need to be restored. Well, if the whole world has been under the domination of the evil one, then we are helpless. Are we? No. But because Jesus Christ also said, in fact, a matter of fact, this was preached by Paul, if He is with you, if God is with you, who can be against you? Nothing. So you need God. You need God to be saved. How can you have God? Grace. What is grace? Grace is actually sharing in the life of God. Without the life of God in us, we are helpless. We cannot overcome evil. So how do we obtain grace? So that is what justification is all about. The teaching of the Catholic Church is that we are saved by the grace of God alone. Only God's grace by the life of God being <coughs> shared with us. That is the teaching of the Catholic Church. Sola gratia. Saved by grace alone. Not by our works, but by the grace of God. But you need to obtain the grace of God. Paragraph 1996 of the Catechism really states the teaching of the Catholic Church in regard to salvation. 1996 states, Our justification comes from the grace of God. See? Grace of God. Grace is favor. The free and undeserved help that, God's, that God gives us to respond to His call. See? It is free, but you need to accept it. Like a gift. It's a free. You, 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 don't, you don't deserve it. But at least, you need to tap into it. You know when Christ our Lord died on the cross, He said, it is finished. This is always, this is, this is now uh, uh, apologetics. Because they say, no. Did Jesus Christ, when He said, when He died on the cross, stated, it is finished. There's nothing else that you can do. You know what that really means? The work of salvation is finished. Now it's available to all of us. It's available. But it doesn't mean it's automatically given to everybody. You've got to tap into the source of grace. Okay? So how do you tap into the source of grace? That is justification. How do you obtain the grace that you need in order to be saved? <coughs> that is what justification is really all about. And that's our difference with our non-Catholic brothers and sisters. Okay. Protestant 
point of view. You are saved by faith alone. What does that mean? When you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are declared righteous. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to be holy. Accept Him. And He will do the work on you. And uh, Martin Luther, as a matter of fact, gave this uh, analogy. You know, he, he, he grew up in Germany. Uh, during, during his time, the wealth, every, one's wealth is measured by uh, his, uh, wh whatever he has stored in, the, in relation to his farming industry. Farming was the main source of income. So people would store manure in their, in their, in their, in their uh, farm. And you can identify someone who is really wealthy but he has a, a big store, you know, manure for fertilizer for the farm. Okay. So they would have piles of manure in their land, in their farms. Now this is how Martin Luther uh, made an analogy about our salvation. When it snows, those pile of manure is, is covered with snow, white as a snow. And that is what human, uh, uh, that's what we are. We are still a pile of manure inside, corrupt. But when Jesus Christ died on the cross, we're all covered with snow, white as snow. Deep beneath, we're still a pile of manure. In other words, you don't need to be sanctified. All you need to do is accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. How is that differentiated to Catholic teaching? Catholic teaching is this. No, you don't need to remain as a pile of the world. You have to be purified from inside out. 